Hello everyone, this is Introvert Shy Guy, and welcome back to Metroid Prime 3. Okay, so where we left off, uh, I was just going to go get the new move to go for, for me to go see the Aurora unit, and unfortunately my brother came home. He came home about 326, so that was near the 330 time, but because, because there was no save station, I had to stop basically right here. Anyway, here, this is a mini-boss battle. Oh, shit. Hot oh, fuck. Mechanoid defense drone. Antennas appear to be fragile. Fragile control unit inside armored helmet. Alright, so we gotta... Oh, what's this? here. There's a defense drone. He kind of reminds me of one of those uh, those little robot guys that shoot missiles at you. He's like their their leader, you know? I know I could have used that to destroy the, the antennas, but I was kind of in a panic, that's why. But he's almost dead, so...
I like to do this. Also, I would just like to mention, if you guys are wondering why, unlike say the other game plays, I never had to basically be cut off. Usually happens sometimes, but why it happens kind of recently is because usually now I have a I have a new class schedule. Oh, by the way, I, I one time scanned them just to know what they are, and it turns out there's an easier way to kill these guys that I didn't know about. Even when I first uh, played, oh, actually, yeah, even when I first played Mr. Prime 3. Anyway, I have a new uh, school uh, class schedule that my classes now, they start at uh, 6 instead of early in the morning, unlike last time. So, so because of that, um, sometimes I, I kind of sleep a little late and stuff. So, yeah, that, that's why. Usually sometimes I wake up early, sometimes I don't. And usually sometimes I do wake up early, but I tend to kind of press the snooze button on my alarm so, that, so then I could have more sleep, basically. Oh, there's another one. Alright, got it. Oh yeah, I made, made it. Oh wait, but it's uh... Oh, okay. I, I didn't see that there. Excited for it. I hope it's really good. It'll be really nice. No. That I go in later. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, these these guys are take a one hit move. Now I gotta go back. Also, I don't know if you guys could hear, I'm pretty sure you can, it's kinda windy outside, so... Not that windy, but... Kind of. But honestly, I'd rather have bad weather now, and good weather on the movie day. I know I'd be in the theater, so it wouldn't really matter, but just so then there are no power outages and stuff, because I don't want that. Most likely have to save, but uh, this part's not really not really that hard. So finally, I 
Oh fuck, I thought I was... The Aurora unit is corrected and requires repair. Opening maintenance level hatch. Why would the maintenance be like a little vent? Maybe you have to send in the robot to do the work, I guess? Yeah, it's just these regular guys. I know I have phase off, but I'm not gonna use it. Oh! Missiles take one shot, okay, good. Then I know what I am using. where you insert the vaccine. Huh. You know what I noticed? Yeah, it is pretty dark on my screen. I think I gotta adjust the brightness soon. But here it is. <laughs> vaccine successfully uploaded. A AU phase on corruption level at 0.00%. I'll watch this. This turbulence is insignificant. I'll show you. Disrupting our access to Skytown's primary network. This prevents us from controlling Skytown and executing our plan to destroy the Leviathan. Gore's plasma cannon should be able to fuse together the severed cables. We must ask you to let him down. Gore may have changed since. Be prepared to deal with that. Good luck. This was the part, by the way, I was kind of stuck on for a while because I had no idea where to go. But it turns out it was basically very simple. And they practically give, gave it away. But it's just that, you know, me, I, I just couldn't figure it out at the time. But let me first save.
so honestly, I don't know what to talk about about the movie because honestly, like like as of right now, I'm avoiding spoilers. I hope it's I hope it's really good, not just for My Little Pony, but also for uh, animation in general. But I guess what I could say, like what I was, what I kept on wondering was. I, w I was wondering what would have been a better release date for the movie because it's obviously going to be on October 6th, the same day as Blade Runner. So at the time I was wondering, because I actually want, like, I want to be at least very successful at the box office. So I was wondering what kind of basically options there would be for release dates. And oh, oh. Finally! Fuck this shit. This was a lot easier, like, on my old TV at the time. Wait. Ship status alert. Unknown entity approaching. Commencing hull lockdown. Yeah, this is, by the way, this was what, this basically told me where I was supposed to go, just to go to my ship. But at the time, I didn't know that. So I basically just wandered the entire area looking for him. And then right at the end, I was like, I'm just gonna go back and save at my ship, and there he was. But, as I said, it, it kind of gave it away in the beginning, so... Wait... Oh, okay, I see. This is the other way, but that's what I'm gonna do. So, also, as, as what I was saying, on my old TV... This is the first time I'm playing Metroid uh, Prime 3 on a plasma screen, because I played... This game on my very old, uh, like, I would say tube TV, I would say. So, so because of this, I don't know if it makes made it harder to aim or something, I guess, but. There we go. Ship priority status alert. Hull armor taking damage. off what happened with that thing.
Oh wait, is this a new area? No, it's just a shortcut. Actually, you know what? I gotta kill these guys like this, because this hole is blocking. Alright, it's 2.50 right now, I think that's enough time to defeat him. 